In computing, Internet Key Exchange is the protocol used to set up a security association in the IPSEC protocol suite. IKE builds upon the Oakley protocol and ISA KMP. IKE uses X509 certificates for authentication, either pre-shared or distributed using DNS and a DeFi Euro Hellman key exchange, to set up a shared session secret from which cryptographic keys are derived. In addition, a security policy for every peer which will connect must be manually maintained. History the Internet Engineering Task Force originally defined IKE in November 1998 in a series of publications known as RFC 2407, RFC 2408 and RFC 2409, RFC 2407 defined the Internet IP security domain of interpretation for ISA KMP. RFC 2408 Internet Security Association and Key Management Protocol RFC 2409 defined the Internet Key Exchange, IKE was updated to version 2 in December 2005 by RFC 4306. Some open details were clarified in October 2006 by RFC 4718. These two documents plus additional clarifications were combined into the updated ICF2 RFC 5996 which was published in September 2010. A later update upgraded the document from proposed standard to Internet standard, and was published as RFC 7296 in October 2014. The parent organization of the IETF, the Internet Society, has maintained the copyrights of these standards as freely available to the Internet community. Architecture Most IPSEC implementations consist of an IKE daemon that runs in user space and an IPSEC stack in the kernel that processes the actual IP packets. User space daemons have easy access to mass storage containing configuration information, such as the IPSEC endpoint addresses, keys and certificates, as required. Kernel modules, on the other hand, can process packets efficiently and with minimum overhead a euro, which is important for performance reasons. The IKE protocol uses UDP packets, usually on port 500 and generally requires four to six packets with two to three turnaround times to create an essay on both sides. The negotiated key material is then given to the IPSEC stack. For instance, this could be an AES key, information identifying the IP endpoints and ports that are to be protected, as well as what type of IPSEC tunnel has been created. The IPSEC stack, in turn, intercepts the relevant IP packets if and where appropriate and performs encryption decryption as required. Implementations vary on how the interception of the packets is to near Euro for example, some use virtual devices, others take a slice out of the firewall, etc. ICAV1 consists of two phases, phase 1 and phase 2. ICAV1 phases IKE Phase 1's purpose is to establish a secure authenticated communication channel by using the DeFi Euro Hellman Key Exchange algorithm to generate a shared secret key to encrypt further IKE communications. This negotiation results in one single bidirectional ISA KMP security association. The authentication can be performed using either pre shared key, signatures, or public key encryption. Phase 1 operates in either main mode or aggressive mode. Main mode protects the identity of the peers. Aggressive mode does not. During IKE Phase 2, the IKE peers use the secure channel established in Phase 1 to negotiate security associations on behalf of other services like IPSEC. The negotiation results in a minimum of two unidirectional security associations. Phase 2 operates only in quick mode. Problems with IKE Originally, IKE had numerous configuration options but lacked a general facility for automatic negotiation of a well-known default case that is universally implemented. Consequently, both sides of an IKE had to exactly agree on the type of security association they wanted to create a euro option by option a euro, or a connection could not be established. Further complications arose from the fact that in many implementations the debug output was difficult to interpret, if there was any debug routine at all. The IKE specifications were opening to a significant degree of interpretation, bordering on design faults, giving rise to different IKE implementations not being able to create an agreed-upon security association at all for many combinations of options, 
however correctly configured they might appear at either end. Improvements with ICAD 2 the need and intent of an overhaul of the IKE protocol was described in Appendix A of RFC 4306. The following issues were addressed, fewer RFCs, the specifications for IKE were covered in at least three RFCs, more if one takes into account NAT traversal and other extensions that are in common use. ICAV 2 combines these in one RFC as well as making improvements to support for NAT traversal and firewall traversal in general. Standard mobility support. There is a standard extension for ICAV2 used to support mobility and Mulchiomene for it and ESP. By use of this extension, ICAV2 and IPSEC can be used by mobile and Mulchi owned users. NAT traversal. The encapsulation of IKE and ESP in UDP port 4500 enables these protocols to pass through a device or firewall performing NAT. SCTP support. ICAV2 allows for the SCTP protocol as used in Internet telephony VoIP. Simple message exchange, ICAV2 has one four message initial exchange mechanism where IKE provided eight distinctly different initial exchange mechanisms, each one of which had slight advantages and disadvantages. Fewer cryptographic mechanisms, ICAV2 uses cryptographic mechanisms to protect its packets that are very similar to what IPSEC encapsulating security payload uses to protect the IPSEC packets. This led to simpler implementations and certifications for common criteria and FIPS 140-2, which require each cryptographic implementation to be separately validated. Reliability and State Management ICAV2 uses sequence numbers and acknowledgments to provide reliability and mandate some error processing logistics and shared state management. IKE could end up in a dead state due to the lack of such reliability measures, where both parties were expecting the other to initiate an action, which never eventuated. Workarounds were developed but not standardized. This meant that different implementations of workarounds were not always compatible. Denial of service attack resilience, ICAV2 does not perform much processing until it determines if the requester actually exists. This addressed some of the DOS problems suffered by IKE which would perform a lot of expensive cryptographic processing from spoofed locations. This can be explained like this, suppose hoster has a security parameter index A and host B has an SPI B the scenario is like this. Hoster host B. If host B is experiencing large amount of half-open IKE init connection, the responder will send an unencrypted reply message of the IXR init with a notifier message of type cookie and the responder will expect an IXR init request with that cookie value in a notify payload. This is to ensure that the initiator is really capable of handling a response from the responder. Hoster host B, HDR, A, 0, Psi 1, KE, Ni, HDR, 0, N, cookie, HDR, uh, 0, N, cookie, Psi 1, K, E, Ni, HDR, uh, B, za 1, Care, An R. Protocol Extensions The IETF OPSEC Working Group has standardized a number of extensions, with the goal of modernizing the ICAV 2 protocol and adapting it better to high volume, production environments. These extensions include IKE Session Resumption, the ability to resume a failed IKE IPSEC session after a failure, without the need to go through the entire IKE setup process. IKE Redirect, redirection of incoming IKE requests, allowing for simple load balancing between multiple IKE endpoints. IPSEC Traffic Visibility, special tagging of ESP packets that are authenticated but not encrypted, with the goal of making it easier for middleboxes to analyze the flow. Mutual EAP authentication, support for EAP only authentication of both of the IKE peers. The goal is to allow for modern password based authentication methods to be used. Quick crash detection, minimizing the time until an IKE peer detects that its opposite peer has crashed. High availability extensions, improving IKE IPSEC level protocol synchronization between a cluster of IPSEC endpoints and a peer. To reduce the probability of dropped connections after a failover event. Implementations IKE is supported as part of the IPSEC implementation in Windows 2000, Windows XP, Windows Server 2003, Windows Vista, and Windows Server 2008. 
the ISAKMPIKE implementation was jointly developed by Cisco and Microsoft. Microsoft Windows 7 and Windows Server 2008 had two partially supported CAV2 as well as Mobike through the VPN reconnect feature. There are several open source implementations of IPSIC with associated IKE capabilities. On Linux, OpenSwan and StrongSwan implementations provide an IKE daemon called Pluto, which can configure to the KLIPS or NetKey kernel based IPSIC stacks. NetKey is the Linux 2.6 kernel's native IPSIC implementation. The Berkeley software distributions also have an IPSIC implementation and IKE daemon, and most importantly a cryptographic framework, which makes supporting cryptographic accelerators much easier. OCF has recently been ported to Linux. A significant number of network equipment vendors have created their own IKE daemons, or license a stack from one another. There are a number of implementations of VIC of 2 and some of the companies dealing in IPSIC certification and interoperability testing are starting to hold workshops for testing as well as updated certification requirements to deal with IC of 2 testing. ICSA Labs held its latest ICOV2 interoperability workshop in Orlando, Florida in March 2007 with 13 vendors from around the world. The following open source implementations of ICOV2 are currently available, Open ICOV2, Strong Swan, OpenSwan, ICOV2, Raccoon and Raccoon2 from the KAME project, Iked from the OpenBSD project, Libreswan, Rockhopper VPN software, see also, IPSEC. Key Agreement Protocol, Group Domain of Interpretation, Kerberized Internet Negotiation of Keys, Computer Network, References External Links, RFC 2407 The Internet IP Security Domain of Interpretation for ISAKMP, Internet Engineering Task Force, RFC 2408 Internet Security Association and Key Management Protocol, Internet Engineering Task Force, RFC 2409 The Internet Key Exchange, Internet Engineering Task Force, RFC 5996, Internet Key Exchange Protocol, Internet Engineering Task Force, Overview of IKE.